Hello guys, Harry here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. So guys, let's check out this Seiko Special Edition Black Series in this video today. This watch is uh, from Seiko's Prospects range of watches. If you're in Australia, from the price point of view, you're looking at 895 retail. If you're in the US, I believe the price is about $575. Obviously, I didn't pay the full retail price. I never recommend anyone to pay full retail price uh, for Seiko's anyway say whatever you can and i got a fantastic deal on the watch that i have here with me today i paid 340 australian dollars for the watch from a local um authorized dealer so um yeah heck of a deal in uh, my opinion here is the uh hang tag with the reference number srp hatch 99k1 so as I said, this is a special edition, but as you know, Seiko's special editions can be um, quite different to uh, special editions from uh, other watch brands. They have numbered these up to 7,000, so 7,000 units. And I believe I have the 3,584th out of the 7,000. So not really a special edition, but one positive of this is that a lot of people can actually get these special editions compared to uh, others who are really low numbered special editions. So let's dig in, let's check out this Seiko, which in my opinion is a really, really cool watch. So um, let's dig in, let's check it out, and then we'll wrap up the video. So guys, let's check out the uh, dimensions first. Now, first of all, I really like this uh, Tortoise Seiko, this cushion case from Seiko. It fits really nicely, it's really, really comfortable. We have a case size of 42.4 millimeters, but in my opinion, this watch wears a little bit smaller than 42.4. It fits really nicely on my wrist. My wrist size is seven inches, so an average wrist, but it fits really nicely. We have a case thickness of 11.7 millimeters. Lug to lug distance is really compact at 45.2 millimeters. And we have a lug width of 20 millimeters on this watch with uh, drilled lugs. It's really straightforward to change the, uh, the strap on this watch. Now this is not the original strap that comes with this watch. This is an aftermarket rubber strap, which I really, uh, really, really like. So the original strap that comes with this watch is not the best. I'll show you that a bit later and I'll give you the reason why I swapped it out straight away uh, as well. So we get this uh, black PVD coated case on this one. Now I bought this, I'm keeping this watch in my collection. I used to have a black PVD coated Orient Komatsu in my collection, which I ended up selling and I use that money uh, towards uh, purchasing uh, this watch. And to be honest with you, over the last month or so that I've had this watch, I'm, I'm really liking it and um, fantastic decision in my opinion to, uh, uh, to purchase uh, this watch, especially for the price that I ended up paying for this watch as well, 340 Australian dollars compared to what the retail price is, uh, which is $895 here in Australia. It is a limited edition, but then it's not a limited edition at the same, uh, time given the uh, amount of units uh, they have put out of uh, this watch so a really nice really uh, compact case and um, fits really nicely on the uh, wrist as well so those are the uh, dimensions guys now checking out the uh, dial you get this matte black dial with Seiko applied underneath 12 o'clock prospects logo automatic 20 bar printed above six o'clock in the same silver that you will find on the uh, minute track on the chapter ring as well as so the 20 bar 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown and a screw down case back plenty for uh, for the most of us now what really does for me on this dial is those applied markers especially the color of those applied markers i'm really glad that seiko didn't decide to go for for any other color uh, especially um, in white and they decided to go for this um, greenish, bluish, or minty color or tinge to these, uh, to these markers really stands out. I think it goes really nicely with the, uh, with the rest of the dial and the case of the, or the color of the case uh, as well. The uh, bezel is a friction-based bezel, but it has a really uh, subtle stiffness to it. You cannot really knock it out of place that easily. Again, that will come really handy when you really uh, put this uh, bezel to its uh, intended uh, you usually get the uh, the date window at about 4:30 there, which is uh, kind of hidden uh, hidden behind the um, the minute hand at the moment. So 
Really nicely put together uh, dial on this one. The glass covering the dial is a sapphire crystal. A really nice addition from Seiko. I've come across many Seikos, even in this price range, I'm, I'm talking about seven, eight hundred uh, Australian dollars that come with uh, a Hardlex crystal. So it's a nice addition uh, to see a sapphire crystal on this watch but there's no ar coding that i could find on this uh, glass at all but i'm not complaining i'm really happy uh, to get a sapphire crystal um, instead of a uh, hard lex crystal on this watch so guys that's the uh, that's the dial so here is the uh, loom guys plenty of loom on this watch as well it's definitely stronger on the hands compared to uh, most of the uh, the markers but whatever we get it's uh, plenty uh, for uh, this watch and uh, Seiko's Lumi Bright does not disappoint. It definitely does not disappoint on this watch as well. Now I'm going to talk about the, uh, the strap that comes with this watch and here it is. So this combination of canvas and leather. I wore this watch I think once or twice with this strap and um, I just don't like it. Um, I do not like the uh, how stiff uh, it is, and even from the quality point of view, uh, it doesn't feel like a strap which should be on a watch that retails for nine hundred or close to nine hundred dollars, at least here in uh, here in Australia. So I swapped it out straight away for this rubber strap, which again I really uh, really like. I've used this rubber strap on other watches as well. I had this uh, lying around, not really used uh, on any other watch, and um, ended up putting it on uh, this and this uh, buckle with this black finish to it matches up really nicely with the uh, with the case as well so now I know some people will say that the strap will break in you just need to give it enough time and all that kind of stuff but look to be honest with you I just can't be bothered so I just swapped it out straight away if you have the patience uh, to go through that process of uh, waiting out and uh, waiting for this uh, strap to break in and you really like this strap then uh, obviously you know you can do it but I just decided to uh, change it out um, after um, after a couple of times that I wore uh, that strap and um, I'm really happy that I did that and these drilled lugs really make it easy to uh, swap that strap out. Now looking at the um, case back, it's a closed case back, gives you a fair amount of information, 20 bar stainless steel, it covers the, uh, the movement as well which is 4R35, uh, you would have seen this movement in many of the Seiko watches, 23 joules, approximately 41 hours of power reserve, you get hacking and hand winding, 21,600 beats per hour. Now the stated tolerance from Seiko with this movement is plus 45 to minus 35 seconds per day, but my experience with these four hour movements have been much better than those numbers. This one's been averaging about plus eight seconds per day for the last uh, month or so. Now you will find the uh, ground to air emergency signal codes on there as well. Again, if you put this watch to its intended use, they can really come handy. But I'm, um, to be honest with you, I'm not going to put this watch to its uh, intended use. So uh, guys, that's the watch. I really, really like it. And uh, I'm going to keep this watch in my collection. This will fill that space, uh, that black case uh, PVD coated uh, watch that I used to have, which was the uh, Orient Komatsu. This will fill in that space really, really nicely. Now, let me just give you a quick uh, reshot as well. And I'm really happy with the price that I paid for this watch. I never recommend anyone to pay full retail price for uh, these Seiko watches anyway, regardless of uh, being a special edition or a non-special edition and 340 bucks that is 340 Australian. I don't think I can really go wrong with this watch. So here it is. Fits me really nicely on my average uh, wrist. My wrist size is 7 inches. And uh, as I said earlier, it wears a little bit smaller than its true uh, size of 42.4 millimeters. This cushion case sits really nicely on the, uh, on the wrist. And this can be a perfect everyday watch. I've been wearing this watch um, for, the, uh, for the most days over the last month or so and uh, absolutely loving uh, every bit of uh, this watch so guys uh, this is it thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it i'll see you with my next video shortly until then stay safe and look after one another thank you again